Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, Twin Flame Collective, how is everyone? Yeah, are we are we getting through these energies okay? It's pretty it's been pretty rough. I mean the ride is rough anyway, right? But um, we've got all kinds of retrogrades going on. We just had an eclipse. Um, there's another eclipse coming, I believe. I mean, shit's crazy, <laughs> right? Um, I'm not wearing my glasses at the moment because there is a glare coming through from my table because the sun's coming. So I'm trying to get this done before, <laughs> before the sun like completely takes over my desk. And I can't, you can't see the cards anymore because there's too much sun, right? <laughs> okay, anyway, um, so I did release a, a new series. Um, I, I can't quite remember. What was the name of it? Spiritual Mission Check-In. Um, and I released it uh, earlier in this week. Today is ju uh, July 15th. Um, so I re released it this past Monday. And I really liked it. Um, and it seems like a lot of you guys liked it as well. And that is something that I'm planning on doing on a monthly basis. So if you do enjoy it, let me know just in the comments. And I do plan on, you know, doing another one for the month of August. And also I am providing that as a service for you guys. Like if you want a, um, a check in on where you are in your spiritual mission and what you can expect or what you're, you know, what's coming at you in the near future, um, I am offering that reading for personal readings. It is in the mirror format. Um, and so I would use uh, it. So instead of you mirroring, like say your twin or somebody else, you are, um, um, we're seeing how you're mirroring yourself, which is kind of cool. Actually, I really, I, I really enjoyed doing it. So, um, if you want one of those readings, the information is in the description box below. Uh, you can check that out and send me an email. I am available for personal readings. Um, I had a jam-packed day of readings today, and now I am finishing out the day for reading for the collective. So yay, collective. Um, what else? If you are in the New York City metro area, you can always come by and see me every Monday at Om Shanti Bookstore. That's on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The information is in the description box below. You can find the, um, the website and you can give them a call and even book something in advance if you like. Instead of like just doing a walk-in and potentially having to wait or blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Um, yeah. I think that's it. So, oh, I just got, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry guys. Um, that's it. Yeah, so I guess we're just going to get into it and see what comes out for the week, yeah? All right, cool. Let's do this, guys. And I'm going to put my glasses back on so I can see. <laughs> okay, coolio. All right, so everybody, settle in. Take a deep breath. Let's connect. Please understand that this is a general reading, guys. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a mirror reading for your personal Twin Flame situation, please don't hesitate to reach out. My email address is in the description box below. Yeah? Cool, yo, guys. Let's do this. Hey, spirit. <laughs> please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective. Please give us an accurate representation of the divine masculine collective energies symbolized by the deck on the left and the divine feminine collective energies symbolized by the deck on the right. Please show us how they are interacting with each other as individuals and as divine twin flames. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, there's a lot, whew, there's a lot of energy running through me right now. Um, and I think that's just because I'm, I'm, I'm physically channeling the Twin Flame Collective. So I'm feeling a rush of energy and I'm kind of like my, when my, my eyes were closed as I was, um, ooh, wow, as I was holding the decks there and I was seeing just fire going down my hands and arms. So yeah, that's the Twin Flames for you. So here we're doing the Divine Masculine energies. How are you doing, Divine Masculine? Um, as far as that spiritual mission check-in, you guys were pretty okay. Like, you're starting to get through it. You're starting to figure this out. Um, a lot of you are 
you know, really investigating into this whole twin flame thing or this whole spirituality thing. And that's a good thing. That is a really good thing. You absolutely can balance spirit with material. I mean, that is the ultimate goal here, guys. You know, and think about it this way. You couldn't have material without spirit, so... Boop. There's that. All right, one more shuffle for the Divine Masculine Collective. And we'll cut the deck here. Boop. All right. So Divine Masculine, you're set. Let's get into the Divine Feminine energies. Um, when I was channeling just the collective, I was seeing a lot of purple. So there's a lot of divinity, uh, I'm sorry, divine wisdom that's coming through. Um, and also there is a lot of psychic awakening happening right now. I know I've been going through a period of um, kundalini activation, um, which oftentimes feels like a peak or a massive spike in sexual energy. <laughs> Ooh, let me try that again. But um, yeah, so, <clears throat> but it's good to, to like cultivate that, not just like release it, but like as you're feeling that energy, move it up your spine. Yeah, move it up your spine. Use, um, you can, Aluna Ash has a really great uh, meditation for that. Um, I believe, I'm not sure in which video she talks about it, but um, basically... You know, moving the energy up your spine is a great way <clears throat> to clear blockages, to open chakras, and all that stuff. So, I'm not saying you know if you're feeling it, if you're feeling the energy of Kundalini activation. I'm not saying to be celibate or anything. If you have a, a partner that you would like to share that with, by all means, go right ahead. But it's also a good idea to like hold on to that energy sometimes, and and um, you know use it for other things, for like manifestation and like clearing blockages and opening chakras and blah, 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 and all that good stuff. Divine Feminine Collective. Two more shuffles. Um, I am seeing green for you, Divine Feminine. So there's a lot of heart activation. There's a lot of healing happening within the heart center and just throughout the energy system. That's a very good thing. Divine Feminine Collective. All right. The sun is creeping up on us, guys. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Divine Feminine, we're starting with you. We've got the lovers. Divine Feminine is very much aware of what choices she needs to make, um, where she wants to go in her life, what's going to get her ultimately what she has been seeking all along. And she's not ashamed of it, is an energy that I'm picking up on. Now, please understand, guys, if you're new to the channel um, and you're not familiar with me or really any other Twin Flame readers, um, when often when we say, when we're speaking of him or her, when it comes to the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, masculine, we're speaking of energies, not gender, okay? Because you can be male in gender and be of a Divine Feminine energy, like I am, and you can be ma uh, a female in gender and be of Divine Masculine energy, okay? Now... For some divine feminines, there are there is still a choice that needs to be made. Overall, for the collective, most of the divine feminines out there already know, have already made their choice. But some of you still may have to make this choice. Um, you still have to identify some uh, uh, some factors in order to make this choice. Okay, okay. Divine masculine is on your mind as well. Um, we have the three of cups now. We're turning, we're talking about third party situations. Because the lovers here could mean a third party situation. But in that case, I see it as seeing, a, a, meaning a third party situation, I see it as needing to make a choice in that situation. And here we have the reason why. And for me, this is uh, social settings. Okay? Now, this doesn't just have to be between you and your divine masculine. This could be things that you need to choose between in order to move you along in your path. Okay, but ultimately we have the Nine of Cups here. And the Nine of Cups is talking about wish fulfillment. So there are choices that need to be made in the form of wish fulfillment. And we also have the moon underneath everything. Some divine feminines could be, you, some of you could be going through a dark night of the soul right now. Okay, with all these Kundalini activations, um, you may be... You know, you may be feeling down, great one day and super energized and you've got that kundalini moving and then all of a sudden you drop 
down and you feel like crap. But that is just the process of cleansing and clearing when it comes to the Kundalini, okay? Aluna Ash, if you want more information about this stuff, go check her out. Um, there are plenty of sources that you could go check out um, when it comes to uh, Kundalini activation. I recommend Aluna Ash because she also is tempering it with knowledge about the Twin Flame journey. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, but ultimately, you know, there, there, there's some illusion around you, Divine Feminine. And if, there, and if you're having trouble making some sort of decision, always rely on your intuition. Okay? Always. Let's get into your storyline here. Starting off with the Four of Cups in reverse. Not so worried about being taken advantage of anymore, but also not taking something for granted. I'm sorry, not taking being taken for granted, but also not taking something else for granted. Like, I feel like Divine Feminines, the Divine Feminine Collective, or whoever I'm speaking to here, is starting to realize what they're being offered by the universe and are making taking steps towards it. And we have, oof, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So there's, for some of you, there is a situation where, yeah, I mean, this could be, this could be divine feminines that are, um, you know, fairly new to the journey, still going through the runner chaser phase. For the most part, that's done, but there are still some that are entering the situation that are going through this runner chaser phase. Okay. Four of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, honestly, I'm seeing, you know, a release of offering to situations that ultimately are not going to give you what you want in a room, in a family in a family setting. You know, ultimate material fulfillment, right? And that is absolutely what we're talking about here with the lovers. You know, making a choice. Now, the Three of Cups doesn't have to talk about a third-party situations. I just want to make that clear. What, what's really coming, a lot of what's coming through here is celebration. Because of whatever choice you've made, Divine Feminine, or choices you're needing to make. All right, moving forward. Oof, we got the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, with the Five of Wands in reverse. So if there was conflict around a home situation... That's being released, okay? We've got the Four of Cups and the Four of Wands right next to each other, and both of these things are reversed. So there could be there, uh, this other choice, this choice that could be being made right now, is there could be some divine feminines out there that are choosing to leave their current marriages or choosing to leave their current home situations because, because ultimately it was not the Ten of Pentacles that you were looking for, Okay. And with the five of wands in reverse here, I'm picking up an energy of just not being in conflict about it. No longer being indecisive about it. No longer feeling all kinds of conflicting thoughts or emotions around the situation. Okay? You're, you've come to your decision. Your decision is made. You're moving forward with it. And ultimately, it's going to bring you wish fulfillment here because we've got the nine of cups in your overall energy. There is some illusion still. There is some, it's kind of like you're stepping out into the unknown. But ultimately, the angel and the lovers here is reminding you that you are being guided by the universe. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to know all the answers. Go with your intuition. All right? All right moving forward, we've got the king of wands in reverse. Everything is reversed right now. It's making me nervous. King of wands in reverse. And, oh, 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 whoa! <laughs> Except for that knight of pentacles. <laughs> All right, um, so as far as the Divine Feminine is concerned, the Divine Masculine is still mo still moving along like a freaking slug. <laughs> Just putt, putt, putting his way down the road. And honestly, I... As far as the Divine Feminine Collective is concerned, I'm not sure that's really such a thing that we're so hung up on anymore. Because for the most part, especially for the Divine Feminine, the, 
the divine feminines within the collective that I've been channeling for, we've gotten to the point where it's like, all right, whatever, buddy, you just go do what you're going to do. I got work to do over here, so I'm going to handle that. And you can come find me when you're ready. Now, I'm going to have to pull my blinds down. This is also um, a message that, you know, the divine masculine really does want to come forward with an offer, but he's just not ready yet. And this is, well, for the most part, and in, this is falling in a position in the spread that I have taken, I'm starting to consider as the current challenge. So Divine Feminine, your current challenge right now is the fact that the Divine Masculine is just really moving very, very slow. <laughs> he's moving, don't get me wrong, he's moving because the Knight of Pentacles is up right here, okay? But he's moving really slow. Give me just a second, guys. I have to, I gotta pull my blinds down. Even though I love the beautiful sun, I love it, it's just gonna get in the way, unfortunately. Okay, so moving on. That's your current challenge right now, Divine Feminine. Knowing that the Divine Masculine is, is the Divine Masculine is coming, but it's just taking a while. But that's okay. Moving forward, the Nine of Swords. All right, with woo, Divine Feminine, you've got a Tower moment here, and that I believe has everything to do with this choice that was needing to be made with the lovers. There are some Divine Feminines out there that are really going through some upheavals. And it's definitely within the home environment because of this Four of Wands here. Ultimately, if you are in a relationship right now or you're actively leaving a relationship, it was not fulfilling for you. I'm looking at the Four of Cups in reverse. The Four of Cups and Ten of Pentacles both in reverse with the Four of Wands and Five of Wands in reverse. And I'm resonating with it in the sense that that's what I felt like in my previous relationship with my, with my previous ex-husband. I felt, I constantly felt like I was giving and giving and giving in a way that was not, and I was not really getting back what I thought I, I, I deserved, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, ultimately, I was giving to something to try and build, you know, the ultimate family life or home life in a situation that wasn't ideal for me or him in that sense. Because there were elements to my reality that I couldn't, or there were things that he wanted from me that I couldn't provide to him. And there were things... I wanted from him that he couldn't provide to me. And it was con it was conflicting. It was incredibly conf conflicting. Five of Wands. But ultimately, all of this is being released. And that's a good thing, Divine Feminine. That's a really, really good thing. All right, let's see what's going on for the Divine Masculine now. Ooh, starting you off, Divine Masculine. You've got the Empress in reverse. Okay. That's coupled with, oh, look at that, the Ten of Cups. Followed by the Ace of Swords in reverse. Lordy, Lordy G. And the mirroring continues. Look at this, guys. In the same exact position, too. Or, I'm sorry, the, the, the mirroring begins. In the same exact position. The moon and now the moon is reversed for the Divine Masculine. Okay? So while the Divine Feminine is kind of shrouded in some secrecy right now, the Divine Masculine has things that are being revealed with the moon. So you both may feel like you're going through a little bit of a dark night of the soul situation. That makes sense. Now, with the Empress in reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Ten of Cups upright, Divine Masculine, you are starting to see how you had, how your opinion of the Divine Feminine or how you saw her in the past was all wrong. Ooh, let, me, let me fix this. Was all wrong. 
And now you're starting to see the value in the situation with the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is upright. But for the most part, Divine Masculine, you're starting to see this because you're starting to understand what this ultimate fulfillment emotionally really truly means for you. Okay? And you're starting to see those qualities within the Divine Feminine and how you misjudged with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay? This is also... Now, also, yes, what this is saying is that um, you're starting to see what you truly want in ultimate fulfillment by not having that ultimate fulfillment in your life right now. Okay? All right, moving forward. Now, this is emotional fulfillment, right? Not physical. This is emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. Okay. We've got the Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Divine Masculine. You're knee-deep in it, aren't you, right now? Waist-deep, even, in some cases. Three of Swords with the Queen of Wands. So, all right, we've got the counterparts here. Divine Feminine, you have the King of Wands. Div Divine Masculine, you have the Queen of Wands. Illumination. You could have had your, uh, this is, now I don't normally see the Queen of Wands as um, a karmic partner, but in this case, I'm seeing for some of you Divine Masculines, you're starting to see, okay, well, okay, you could have had, you could be in a situation where you're with a karmic partner that is a, a fire sign, or at least someone that exhibits Queen of Wands energy, um, confident, very attractive, social butterfly, magical. But in this case, it's kind of like a Queen of Wands in reverse situation where she's just really selfish and egotistical and controlling and, um, you know, that kind of thing. But Divine Masculine, you could be in a karmic situation where you, you're getting your heart broken by this woman or this feminine energy, I'll say. Alternatively, you are starting, you could also... Coupled with that, because I feel like if you are in that kind of karmic situation, you're also, you're, you're kind of feeling a double form of heartbreak because you're not with your divine feminine, who is the queen, who is what the queen of wands also uh, resembles outside of the, the, uh, uh, the major arcana where the empress symbolizes the divine feminine. So we have two depictions of the divine feminine here. Oof. Divine Masculine, you're really starting to get into that heartbreak part of the situation regarding your, your situation with your Divine Feminine. And actually, what I'm also seeing here is your heart is getting broken right now because you're watching your Divine Feminine stand in her power and be her true, authentic self. Which is something, and to be quite honest, which is something that the Divine Feminine really has been doing for quite some time. Even though there was a lot of healing that needed to be done. Yeah. She has been doing that for quite some time. Okay, moving forward. We've got the Six of Swords. All right, Divine Masculine. So you're, you're going through this period, but you're, 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 you're moving towards calmer waters. Okay. I just see you, with the Six of Swords, I see you traversing this these emotions. Because you're on water here with the Six of Swords. So I see you traversing these, or getting through these emotions quite well. You know, make, putting logical sense to it. Understanding, okay, well, this happened because of X, Y, and Z in the past. You know what I mean? Six of Swords is coupled with the Four of Cups in reverse. Look at that. More mirroring, guys. You're really starting to understand this thing, this whole thing of unrequited love being taken for granted. You could be in a situation now where you're being taken for granted, whether that be from this karmic partner that was popping up in the Queen of Wands, whether it be, uh, I don't know, through friends, family. You're starting to understand that lesson now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 
So I'm going to read it this way. I'm going to say you're, the next set, this is your current challenges, Divine Masculine. Ah, more mirroring, the Nine of Swords. But the Nine of Swords is in reverse here with the Five of Cups. Good old Five of Cups. Divine Masculine, you have been... You have been in this Five of Cups energy for a long time. Regret, remorse. And and normally I would look at the not the Nine of Swords and say, okay, well maybe you're coming out of it, but with the Five of Cups upright, I feel like some of you are like stuck. Like dead stuck in anxiety and fear. Fear of how to move forward. Because this is falling right under the King of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. Fear of how to move forward. And it's all because of all of this, all of these, these three cups that spilled. And it's funny because the Divine Feminine has the three of cups here. But for her, it's celebratory for the most part. Your three of cups here, Divine Masculine, are spilled out because that social setting, man, really fucked you up, didn't it? All of that outside influence. And now you really, you're you having trouble getting yourself out of this anxious state. Now, some of you could be also coming out of Nine of Swords energy and seeing the truth behind this Five of Cups energy in the sense that what all of these cups that spilled out were toxic anyway, and you still got that Two of Cups behind you, right? Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Finally, for you, Divine Masculine, coming up, your outcome, we've got the Magician. Excellent. With Death in Reverse. Okay, so... Coming out, a period of, coming out of a period of transformation and manifesting, or should I say, manifesting once you come out of this period of transformation, once this transformation is completed. And this is coming up in the near future, Divine Masculine. That's really great. Being able to, to, to manifest from a better point of view than the past because of completing this transformation. I really love that the moon is on the bottom of both decks here. And it's perfect because one's reversed and the other is upright. Complete mirroring, 100%. That's pretty fantastic, don't you think, guys? Okay. All right. So let's move on to the animal spirit guides. Close out the reading with them. Also, just looking at if I wanted to say anything else about this tower and the nine of swords for the divine feminine, but I think we pretty much get it. This has to do with, you know, this big choice that's being made. There is a major, major change for you, divine feminine, right now. And for a lot of you, it has to do with family. Home life. These are changes that are being made in... in in the effort to create the family and the home life that you actually truly want. Okay, that's a good thing. All right, so for the Divine Masculine, one card. Divine Masculine. Fish. For the Divine Feminine, one card. Hummingbird. The illumin I'm sorry, the shadow dynamic of the relationship. I just saw 29, 29 on the counter. 11, 11, guys. Woo! <laughs> okay, 
Shadow Dynamic, we have Starfish. And for the Illuminated Dynamic, B. Excellent. Okay. Um, I also feel like 29 is a number that's resonating with some guy, with some people. And I literally just saw 29, 29 on the counter. So there's some energetic uh, resonance, some uh, synchronistic resonance for ya. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Divine Masculine, you have fish. Okay, sorry, I'm being silly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fish. Restlessness, change of focus, lost in the current. Yeah. The fish loves to be subsumed in life's current. Nothing pleases it more than movement, movement, and more movement. The roaming lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while, but usually leads to weariness and slippery relationships. With all the possibilities out there in the vast waters, the fish becomes lost without clear goals and intentions. Spend some time with your lunar forces, dear fish, as the peace and calm of the moon will soothe your soul. Hello, the moon came out for you, divine masculine. When in balance, fish is adaptable and travels well. When out of balance, fish is distracted and changes its mind often. To bring into balance, one must set a small goal and accomplish it. Okay. Um, yes. This makes sense. Uh, it says the roaming lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while, but usually leads to weariness and slippery relationships. The Divine Masculine, you are very much under the awareness and you're coming to terms with the fact that you have a solid and stable emotional, emotionally fulfilling relationship with your Divine Feminine. Okay? And all of this roaming around and jumping from bed to bed or whatever, relationship to relationship, or whatever, if that's you, is just not serving you. I'm really feeling like Divine Masculine, you are starting to really value stability in emotional connections. And that's a very, very good thing. I mean, it's the start of something great, don't you think? Okay. For the Divine Feminine, we got Hummingbird. There we go. Positive, enthusiastic, spirit, spiritually resourceful. Inside the tiny hummingbird resides an endless well of energy and positivity. The hummingbird's secret is that it has learned where to gather nectar and it returns to these sources daily for nourishment and rejuvenation. This sacred elixir springs from many sources but usually involves nature, creativity, and exploring spirituality. Follow the way of the hummingbird and you cannot go wrong. Every droplet of life becomes sweet, every moment worth savoring. When in balance, hummingbird is smart, curious, and loves to learn. When out of balance, hummingbird is pushy and insistent and sharp. To bring into balance, one must take a class. So Divine Feminine, you might, you might benefit from taking class, from studying something. You know, uh, creating, getting yourself, like diving into a new hobby or a, a gener creating a new skill for yourself or skill set for yourself, something like that. Yeah. That could help you. That could definitely help you take, take off your mind, take, help get whatever is going on here off your mind. Yeah. Like this tower moment here that's coming up. Boo. Boo. <laughs> now, I want to say... I do want to say that this tower moment could be this tower moment really could be a revelation from your divine masculine. You might be caught up in expectation around hearing from your divine masculine, divine feminine. But I'm saying this because I'm seeing the Divine Masculine here, the King of Wands in reverse, but moving forward with the Knight of Pentacles, wanting to make an offer.
And it could just come out of nowhere to you, Divine Feminine. But also, the King of Wands in reverse is talking about how the Divine Masculine really wants to make an offer but does not feel confident in it right now. That is caught up in all kinds of insecurity. Mm hmm Yeah. And then down in the Divine Masculine spread, you've got the Queen of Wands upright with the Three of Swords. Like, total heartbreak. Feeling like he's completely lost you. Like he can never get you back. Like he's almost like even he may have even betrayed you too much to ever really have a chance to get you back. That's not the case, Divine Masculine. Doesn't mean you're not going to have to work for it, Divine Masculine. I'm not saying it's going to be an easy street. Like you go, you, you can just, you know, pull up on her, throw out, throw some game out there, and she's like putty in your hands again. No, that's not going to be it. And even if that were it, if you could, if you did do that and she just went right back to you like that, problem. Because y'all are just going to start that cycle all over again. So it's all right. You got this. We all got this. It is all good. The shadow dynamic of the relationship is starfish. Here we go. Starfish. Beautiful, alluring, superficial, or shallow. The starfish is, the starfish is a natural and exquisite beauty, mesmerizing to all. Being around someone with starfish energy is a thrill, like you've been put under a spell of divinity itself. The problem is, these creatures have been reliant on how they look, and what other people think of them, for so long that they may have forgotten their deeper callings. When this card appears, it's important to ask, am I being swayed by outward appearances? What dreams have I put aside to please others? That is a huge message for both the Divine Feminine and Masculine, because that is like a central theme for the work of a Twin Flame. Getting back to authenticity, taking off the masks, and being the true self, right? When in balance, Starfish is uplifting, artistic, and expressive. When out of balance, Starfish gossips and feels empty. To bring into balance, one must surround themselves with positive friends. Looking over that friend group, guys, and being like, hmm, who of y'all are real genuine? Who of all who of y'all can I really trust? Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Finally, the illuminated dynamic is B. And actually I really love seeing B here in this position. It really makes me feel like, you know, we're all working together here. B. Earnest. Hardworking, democratic. The B personality is a delight to be around, especially when there's a team project on the horizon. Bees love to work steadily and thoughtfully until the final task is complete. They are sensitive creatures, aware of many subtleties at once. Since they're artists at heart, they usually add creative details to the overall vision. For the most part, they have bustling, joyous personalities, dot, 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 until they're too tired from all the work, dot, 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 and then they gripe, and then they sting. <laughs> when in balance, B is content, active, and vibrant. When out of balance, B feels overworked and annoyed. To bring into balance, one must take a mini vacation. I hear staycation. Schwerd. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Oh my God, this is so funny. I'm gonna let the sun back in. Sorry, moon. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We had two instances of the moon. The moon came out for both the divine masculine and divine feminine. And I had to put the sun away. Because look at all that glare created and all that contrast and stuff. Y'all wouldn't have been able to see the spread. <laughs> hey, guys. So, and see, now that's why I wasn't wearing my glasses. You see all that glare? Bloop. All right, guys. So there it is for the week. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out if you need a reading. Sorry, I got distracted by some stuff back there. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out if you want to get a personal reading with me. 
Um, and yeah, I hope you have, guys have a great week. Divine Feminine, don't freak out about this tower moment that's coming. I feel like many of you are already there. Like you already know what this is. So don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Much love to you guys. Take care. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next conversation next week. Yeah. Mwah. Bye. Mm -hmm.